I think we well know that it's the microbes that drive the mineral cycling. We well know that it's the mineral cycling and the organic matter that's allowing us to hold nutrients, hold water, hold air. So a healthy soil um, reduces pests, disease, weeds, grows better crops. Okay, so that, that's the environmental part. A healthy soil then, if you have less weeds, that's less time to maintain the, the land. It's less gas in your tractor to go over the land. It's less inputs, so you're economically more profitable. We came here um, in 1979, and uh, it was totally overgrown, had been abandoned for 15 years. I mean, there was nothing but uh, moss on the ground. It wasn't even growing grass any longer. The fertility was so poor. Now we have farmers paying more attention to organic matter. Every farmer soil tests. What is used to use the main thing of soil testing for? Used to be, well, what nutrients do my plants need? Again, feed the plant, not per se feed the soil. Now what are we looking at? Now farmers start paying the extra money to get the organic matter tested, the additional $3. They're looking at, is it increasing over time? And are there practices helping to um, increase it? finishing up our 30th year. And uh, so uh, here, and we now have lush pasture. This has probably been grazed since April, four or five rotations through this field right here. I think that um, another thing that uh, we should be thinking about is the term sustainable agriculture. And maybe it's time for a change, and maybe we need to call that regenerative agriculture. Because if you think about the condition of our agricultural lands. We've reduced organic matter um, by almost 50% in a lot of our croplands. And so maybe it's time to start thinking about um, regenerating those soils. They're like, oh my God, <laughs> we're building. We're building soil, we're building life.